Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. Welcome back to another edition of Hometown Heroes on Family Life. I'm your host, Bob Price, and our guest this week is Deborah Chukuski of Corning, New York. This world-class triathlete is going for the gold, despite being almost completely blind. Well, Deborah, people that live in the Elmira Corning area, many of them know your story, but there are several who do not. When you were a teenager, you were diagnosed, and I hope I say this right, correct me if I don't, Stargardt's disease. Did I say that correctly? Yes, that is correct. Uh, if you would, what is that and how has that impacted your life? Stargardt's disease affects my central vision. I am, rely on my peripheral vision to see the world. And you'd be surprised on how much you use your central vision. So I, I'm not able to drive. And things like facial recognition, I know that it is a person, but I can't tell who it is. Depth perception is very much affected by not having my central vision, which is why I rely on my guide dog to help. And uh, is this a disease where it gets progressively worse the older you get? That's correct. It will eventually plateau, but I'm still in this progressive stage. Yeah. Yes. Well, despite this diagnosis, you are a world-class athlete. Tell us a little bit about how you're able to compete at such a high level, even while battling this disease. Because I have no central vision and can't drive, I rely on walking. And when my husband and I moved here, he knew how important it was to me to be able to be physically active. So we purposely picked a house that was within one mile of the YMCA, which is what I'm able to utilize for the swimming. And then somebody was able to donate to us a treadmill. So when it starts getting in the fall when there's leaves and I can't see the ground that well, and especially during the winter, I cannot run outside. So I'm able to run inside on the treadmill and stay safe. Mm -hmm. And then for the biking portion of it, I have a bike on what's called a trainer. And I'm also able to bike inside and stay safe, but still be able to do all of the amount of training that I can do to be able to compete at an elite level. Yeah. Deborah Kachuski of Corning, New York is is this week's hometown hero. And uh, you are a mom of two battling Stargardt's disease. And I know you're a very humble person. You don't like to brag, but you are a world-class triathlete. You've been in competitions all over the world, correct? Yes. And uh, a lot more to come for the Paralympics in 2024. And that's going to be in Paris, correct? Yes, it is. So how do you get ready for something like that? So for triathlon specifically, my guide and I, next year from June 2023 to June 2024, we are going to be competing at the world level to get ranked internationally. And if I am ninth or higher in the world, I can earn a spot on Team USA to wow. go to the Paralympics. Awesome. Now, this guide is with you when you run, with you when you bike, and with you when you swim, correct? Yes, that's correct. So when I swim, we have a tether that we attach to our side, and we swim tethered together. And then when we get out of the water, we hop on a tandem bicycle, and she is in the front because she has the perfect vision and then when we get off we're running together we have a belt with a tether in between us so we're about about 18 inches apart and she again communicates with me on the road conditions and if there's any steps or anything uh, we're constantly talking to each other that is incredible i've seen you work out at the y in the morning from time to time but i cannot imagine it's easy to compete at that kind of a level and in the training and everything that's necessary and how much training do you actually do, Deborah? So I'm on a 13 day cycle. So I will do two disciplines. So swimming, biking, biking, running, you know, running, swimming, and then also lifting twice a day for a 13 day cycle. And then I'll take the 14th day off as a rest day. The grit and, and the determination that you have so inspiring. Why were you so determined to not let Stargard's disease defeat you? When I was young, athleticism was just something that was gifted to me. And there was a period of time I thought having Stargard's disease would 
take away from my life. And it was at the moment when I finally realized that God has put this in my life to have the stage that I now have to glorify Him. Yes, I have a disease, but it will not define me. It's just going to be part of my story and part of who I am. What's going to define me is me representing Jesus and representing my community to the best I can. Like, that is going to define who I am. You know, so many people in life may have feel cheated and uh, that life's not fair or that somehow they were given a bad break. What's your advice to others who feel that way today, Deborah? The first thing I would do is actually turn around and look back. Look back at all the positive things that have happened. And it's a daily choice to not allow your perspective to change that gives you that upper hand. It makes you stronger each day. Find one other person or a community that is able to support you. It gives me the strength to keep going. That is Deborah Chukoski of Corning, New York, an elite athlete who's using her disease to be a witness for Christ on the world stage. Join us next week as we search for your home, your town, your hero. It's Hometown Heroes on Family Life.